dot ESPX. I'm going to paste this code. And this is a very simple code I have placed. Okay. Click on design and you will find um, I have uh, Okay, added one label to show finding the square of the number. Then there is one text box which will, which will take the number for which you want to find out the square. And when you click on this square button, it will show you the result in label 2. Now, I also want to keep a logic here. So for that, we can go back to this app and default.aspx.cs is the code behind file. We can get the code say copy and paste it here okay now we had simply retrieved the data from text box converted to integer calculated the result and again convert it back to string for showing it in a label now I'm going to execute it now at this point in time uh, uh oh just save it and just remember the name of your app is Windows Azure App Demo and close it off. Uh, I'm going to start Visual Studio 2010 in a administrator mode. Just ac access this project that we have just created and executed. Now at this point in time when I'm executing it, it will execute it in a uh, it will execute it in a uh, development fabric it is running it in a local environment and you can see here in address bar it is actually pointing to your local system 127.0.1 so I'm testing it in my local system right now I simply want to see whether it is working correctly perfectly or it is ready to be deployed in cloud so it is working fine now my next step is to host it in cloud so what you will do you just need to right click on Azure project okay not in uh, not web role you need to right click here in Azure project you have two options either you can select package or you can publish it directly here okay when you select publish definitely first time it will not show you subscription so you need to click on this link uh, sign in to download credentials so you again need to pass your subscription uh, login ID and password and it will provide you a file just uh, download it to your system and import it using this button say next you need to provide a cloud service name drop click on this drop down click on create new okay it will ask you to provide a unique name by which it can host your application in cloud provide that name select a region so you can select any of the data centers from these region the ideal one which is close to your place so definitely Southeast Asia and you just need to provide some name let's say uh, because I'm not going to use this way so I provided some junk name The DNS name is already taken. Okay, it is not unique. Okay, so keep the other information like this production, release, cloud as it is. If you want to access the desktop remotely, you need to enable this thing. Otherwise, you can simply say next. And this way, you can say publish. Just go through the information which you are, which you can see here just check it out if it is completely fine you can say publish and it will start uh, uploading your thing so this is the easiest way another way is you can right click over here you can say package and say package okay you can see in the taskbar it is showing publish started and succeeded you just need to copy this location control C now here you can see as I told you with package it also club your configuration file the configuration file which will have the information about how many instances you want to configure for your app okay 
I'm closing it off and we can go back to our portal. You need to click on cloud services. Okay, you need to click on cloud services and here, okay, below the pane you will find new option. Okay, click on new button, compute uh, cloud service, quick create, provide a unique name because by this name it is going to publish your app. So let's say I'm going to name it as Windows Azure My App. Let's say if this name is existing. Yes, it is existing. It is showing green uh, arrow or green tick mark. Select the region or affinity group. Affinity group is like in case if you want to keep the storage service close to your uh, hosted uh, app. Okay, so this way you can create affinity group and whichever application you want to put, it will be inside the affinity group. Okay, so all the uh, applications will be uh, hosted close to each other. So there is no affinity group right now. Uh, okay, these are already created for testing purpose. So I'm going to select Southeast Asia. It has taken this subscription, create cloud service. Click on this. Hmm. Okay, there is some problem. Okay, we will do the same step again. Let's say Windows Azure test app one two. We can select the region. Okay, let me change the subscription. We can try this. Okay, let me remove this one. Okay, maybe there is a space problem. Okay, it was actually a space problem because there are there is a limit like how many services you can host. Okay, so sometimes it also happens because of that. So it is created here. Okay, just click on it and it will take you to the dashboard and uh, select whichever environment you want to use. You want to ins uh, upload it in a staging environment or production environment. I have selected production. Say upload. And here we need to give a name. This name should be unique or we can provide some Windows Azure, uh, MyWin Azure, test app. 
local and here you need to paste 